Gearing up for the return of Donald Trump to the port city, the president-elect is returning to the city that helped convince him to launch his campaign for the presidency last August. News 5's Cassie Fambro joins us live now from the newsroom with more on these preparations. Good morning, Cassie. Good morning, Bill and Jessica. Yeah, a lot of people are saying Mobile is where the Trump campaign really took off, and we're gearing up for his return tomorrow with a larger crowd expected, shuttles and security restrictions. And of course, now that he's president-elect, things are going to be different at this rally. The setup will be similar, but there will be guests, including Reverend Franklin Graham and campaign manager Kellyanne Conway. And of course, Mobile native Jeff Sessions will be back in attendance. Organizers are saying Mobile is special to the Trump campaign. The last time we were in Mobile and, and we got as many people as we did in this stadium, uh, close to 30,000 by, by most estimates, it was a feeling of, you know, this really is a movement that we have. There were actually closer to 20,000 people there, but Trump touted the first Mobile rally as one of his largest, and it could certainly be 30,000 strong this go-round, now that people want to go see a president-elect. And we finally learned that there will be free parking at Ladd Stadium beginning at 8 in the morning, but that'll go fast. Once that lot fills up, a free shuttle service will be available beginning at 10 a.m. at three locations. Listen up. The Mobile Civic Center, Springdale Mall, and the Mobile Festival Center. And don't worry, we're going to post all of this, everything you need to know about Trump's visit, including what not to bring, on our website, WKRG.com. And we're going to have live coverage there tomorrow as well. In the newsroom, Cassie Fambro, News 5.